Hey guys, uh, this is going to be another video where I'm selling something. All right, now if you're seeing that, that is an educational note. Uh, the uh, I wouldn't call the $1 rare, but it is extremely popular, especially a clean example like this. All right, um, the other day I sold a fancy and it sold within the first day of me making the video and I had multiple emails on it and all that stuff and I love that stuff. So uh, hopefully this will be the same. Now, I am selling the one, the two, and the five. All right, this is the one that everyone really loves, really goes for, okay? So uh, let's look the notes over right here together real quick and then we'll talk money. All right, this is the $1 or 1896 silver certificate. All right, this one is graded a VF20. There is no comments on it. All right, it is a sweet note. No issues, no pinholes, anything like that. I've always on this, if you look close, you see all the wreaths. And it has a lot of the early inventors. Okay. There's a lot going on with these notes. If you haven't ever read about the history of them, pretty intriguing. This is um, history teaching youth, I believe. Uh, they all have kind of the allegorical type set up on them. Here's the back. Okay. Notice comment free right there. There's George and Martha. Okay. Okay. There's a fold right there in the center that you can see, but no major issues at all. So I actually bought this note out of a coin shop uh, probably five years ago, or close to five years ago. Had it graded, and I've had it ever since. Okay, here's the two. All right, the two is graded a fine 12 or an F12. All right, we'll get down here on some of the details. 1896 silver certificate. Okay, there's that small red seal. And on the back, okay, this one, if you see the little rust spots, it's probably from a paper clip. It's actually mentioned right there as a comment, a rust comment. Now, something about the twos um, that I've noticed is the price of them has went up just so much. Uh, since I got this, I want to say on this note, I paid like, like 400 bucks for it or something. Okay. Got it graded. And now these things in fine 12, you know, they're like 750, 800 bucks. Um, they're all over the place. We'll talk money here in a second, but, uh, this is a, a tougher note to find graded like this with still good color and everything. All right. Now the five. Okay, this one's graded an F12. Um, this is a very undergraded note. Okay, if you look at it, it's got amazing color. The ish, There's no issues with it at all. All right, it's obviously circulated and stuff, but it's not a fine 12. It's more of a fine 15 or even a VF20. Okay. Okay. There's the back. Now, the reason I say VF20, think about this. So I showed you the, here's the one. All right, there's the back of the one. Notice little paper pull spots there and the heavy fold in the middle. This is a VF20 on this one right here. Notice the front of it. Okay, here's the back of the five. Obvious circulation. It's got a center fold, but not near as heavy as the one. Color still good. And then across the front, it's just wonderful. Okay, it's the type of note that I believe if you send in to PMG to get it regraded, it would throw a higher number. Is that number going to hit 20? Maybe. But I think a 15 is probably a solid 75, 80% chance, which is, you know, valuable. Uh, but, or it adds quite a bit of value. 
Okay, money. Or asking price. Here's what we're doing. All right, you can email me at, or infer at dwcurrency at gmail.com. I'm selling them as the trio. I'm not breaking up the set as of right now. Um, the trio I'm asking $3,100 for. Yeah, that's a big number. Yeah, I know it's almost Christmas and stuff. Uh, these would be a hell of a Christmas gift for someone. Um, but if you if you are very, very interested in them and, you know, say you're able to pay half right now and then half in a few, uh, few days or a week or two, I am willing to do that as well, I believe. Uh, but um, I'm not going to take any less for them. So please... Please don't start shooting numbers of 2,000 and stuff. I, I'm not going to play that game, okay? But um, I guess fire me an email if you're uh, if you're a buyer or want to talk about them or anything like that. I can send you pictures as well. I don't have any problem doing that. I have um, JPEG saved, and, and I can very easily email you pictures. So I hope that uh, you guys have a... Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will be hopefully talking to some of you after this video drops. Thanks for watching.